Previously, you saw how to define a variable to hold string values, like this. If I want to work with numbers, I could try this instead. But that doesn't assign the number 21 to the variable, it will assign the string 21 to the variable, so I can't do calculations with it. If I want a variable to contain a number that I can actually do sums with, then I need to leave out the quotes. So this will put the number 21 into that variable. To be more precise, 21 is a whole number. We call it an integer. So this line of code will put the integer 21 into the variable my age. Now I can do a calculation. This line of code will add 5 to the contents of that variable and then assign the result to a new variable which I've called result. Let's output it and run the program. 21 plus 5 is indeed 26. Let's try adding a couple of numbers together. Number 1 equals 15, number 2 equals 30, and result equals number 1 plus number 2. 45. That's adding numbers together. If we want to multiply two numbers together, we don't use a plus sign. We use an asterisk. This is standard for multiplication. 15 times 30 is 450. I can also divide one number by the other. Let's divide 60 by 30. Number 1 is 60, number 2 is 30. Number 1 divided by number 2 is of course 2. And if I want to subtract one number from the other, I can use a minus sign here. Number 1 minus number 2 is 30. But a program that always works with the same two numbers is actually pretty useless. What we want to do is capture some input from the person who's using the program and then perform a calculation on the numbers that the user inputs. We can do that using the input function. So, the user will enter number 1, and that will be assigned to the variable number 1. The user also enters the second number, which is assigned to the variable called number 2. Let's add them together. Number 1, 5. Number 2, says 7. 5, 7. That's not 5 plus 7. Let's try that again. Number 1, 1, 2, 3. Number 2, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So what's going on? The Python input function always captures a string. Whatever the user enters when they're prompted to enter number 1 will be put into this variable, but it will be a string. Same here. When the user enters the second number, it will go into this variable, which is a string. And then when we try to add the two numbers together, all we're actually doing is concatenating two strings together. So we don't get quite what we were expecting. If we want to capture some numeric input from the user, then we need to convert it into numbers once we've captured it. I'm going to wrap this up inside the int function. This converts the number 1 into an integer. Let's do the same with number 2. So now, two integers are being added together, and the result, which will be an integer, is being assigned to the variable called result. Let's test it this time. Number 1, 1, 2, 3. Number 2, 4, 5, 6. And the result is 579. That looks more like it. Now, I'd like to output that result as part of a more friendly message. So I'm going to concatenate a string to this. 
So with the same input, I'm expecting it to say, your result is 579. Let's see what happens. Input number one. Input number two. And I have a runtime error. Type error must be str, not int. Now the problem this time is I have an integer in this variable and I'm trying to concatenate a string onto it. Because I'm working with a string and an integer, Python doesn't know what to do. Should it concatenate them together or should it add them together? It can't do anything. So what I need to do now is take that result, which is an integer, and convert that back into a string. And I can do that using the str function, like this. And let's try again. Your result is 579. Much better. Perhaps you'd like to give it a go. Write a program that captures two numbers from the user and adds them together. You can also try multiplying, dividing and subtracting two numbers.